All right, welcome back. We're outside the, a gym here, and apparently it's a little watershed at the side. Uh, so let's go through this fighting gym first, this fighting uh, unofficial gym. Dojo, if you want to call it. Guess they got raffle stumped by uh, Sabrina. Sabrina? Uh, Charizard in. I don't have a strategy for Sabrina actually. Like I don't have any Pokemon. The only Pokemon I can, you know, do some super effective damage, I guess if you want to call it that, would be Vaporeon with Bite. And since it's a special move, uh, it won't really do too much. I need physical attacks against Psychic types. They really did shaft uh, Hitmonchan, actually, in these games. Giving them all those elemental punches to counter a lot of things. At the end of the day, you know, those moves are pretty weak on him. I don't know why they can just make these double battles. So let's go with probably Pidgeot as a backup in Sabrina's gym. Pidgeot and Vaporeon as backup. But Charizard is definitely gonna run through him. Not even gonna be a, it's not even gonna be that much of a battle. It's kinda like this gym. Not much of a battle. Just more of a training app. Get a level. I would say a level or two, but at this at that rate, it's probably just gonna be a level. But at this point, it might not even matter. I mean, we're as level up as we're going to be for this gym. <laughs> Hopefully, hurt the power creep is not too bad. Generation dark Pokemon really, you know, make a shine, take a shine. As far as like type distribution and per region or something. I can't wait to get the Generation 6, Pokemon X, and Y. That's all my favorite uh, Pokemon in there. Let's say favorite Pokemon. I like the design. I like the designs in Pokemon X. Like Pancham and uh, Pangoro. Those are my favorite Pokemon. Pancham and Pangoro are my favorite Pokemon from Pokemon X from Generation 6 as a whole. No favorites from Generation 3 though because for my ranking, uh, Generation 3 is like lowest on the list. It is the bottom of the list. To me, this for me or for me, the saving grace for uh, Generation 3 was with Pokemon Emerald, the whole Battle Frontier. I liked that concept as a kid. I hope I wish they would bring that back. Cause it is pretty cool. And 
and the whole concept, the whole tradition, I guess you want to call it now, of these remakes that they started in Generation 3. There's like the two highlights for Generation 3 for me. The remakes and the Battle Frontier. Like this shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that was a tittle. Alright, peace. Now you're gonna pick up a Pokemon. You can keep it. You can need it. Alright, let's go heal up before we uh, take on this gym. Alright, we're at the official gym now. One where it actually matters. And as before, we're just gonna go through this thing with no uh, rhyme or reason. We're just gonna keep hitting up telepods until. Telepods. Sounds strange. We're just gonna be hitting up teleportation pads until uh, we finally get to Sabrina. I'm gonna be bothered with remembering the pattern here. Alright. See how Vacuum does against a slow poke. Should be outstandingly well, but it is vile poem, so I'm not gonna put anything past it. Same for slow bro. This is great lower lie training anyway. I think she has a slow bro. I can't remember what part. She's ice, actually. Right? Ice type? Who am I thinking about? I'm thinking about Will in Generation 2. Rock psychic types. I have not seen your unseen power. Well, obviously. <laughs> I was going to say I have not seen your unseen power, but of course I would not see it because it's unseen. These people are falling like dominoes. If that's their unseen power, then yes, I've seen it. Seen it. Let's see what Blood Seed does. I'm gonna waste all my Giga Drains this early on. Really test out Vaporeon's bite against these Pokemon. See how much damage it does. I might stand a chance against Sabrina at all. Back at square one. No, that's not square one. I really need to do something about these overworld, overworld sprites. Alright, let's test out uh, Mr. Mime's special defense, which is pretty good. Not good enough. Okay, 
surprisingly pulling on with them faster. And crit. Can't get any reliable data off that. Now we're at square one. Let's go down here. Okay, rocking ghost types. Let's not get all flashy here. It must be quite a job to have sitting in these rooms with the forward teleportation vibe by, by yourself, waiting for a challenger. <laughs> We are just doing the top row until something happens, and we were already here. I don't think we were here. Oh, great. Should we try Flamethrower? I mean, their special defense isn't that high. They do resist it. Hmm, we resisted enough. Went with the headbutt. Well. Alright, now it's time to start using physical moves. Trying to save all my physical moves for uh, Sabrina. And I think she only rocks the uh, Abra line, so it shouldn't be too much of a battle. Might start with either Pidgeot or Vaporeon. would be pretty good for minimized users. That's why we have Aerial Ace, though. Oh, were we already here? Yes. It's not a spot. I feel like this is the nexus of the universe. Maybe yeah, we were already here. Right? Looks familiar. Or we went down. I think we went down. I might go to the bottom right one actually after this battle, instead of always just going left. So this goes. Here we were. I feel like we're getting close to the nexus. 
Let me here. Yes. Alright, let's go over here. I might just cut in front of it until I get to the gym later. I'll try one more, and then I'll just cut. Alright, we're gonna cut. Alright, that was quick. I'm not gonna heal up or anything. So, uh, let's just get to it. Let's start with somebody else. Start with Pidget. Pidget should be able to beat Abra. Assuming that she's gonna, you know, even has an Abra. And that she's gonna start with it. Okay, she has one more Pokemon than the Abra line. And she didn't start with an Abra. Does not matter though. We'll just keep uh, Pidget in for as long as possible. I'm pretty sure Mr. Mime's gonna F Pidget up. Maybe not. Perfect Pokemon for uh, Pidget, but you know it's a bad idea to go into Hypno. You know, what with the introduction of Signal Beam and all that. I think Signal Beam was introduced in Generation 3. Uh, and there's Leech Life, but Leech Life wasn't as, as much of a powerhouse as it was today as it was back then. So this is what happened to Koga's Venomoth. She beat him, and then she took it. There's no way Hypno's gonna be able to touch that thing. Uh, let's put Charizard. Ace versus Ace. Alakazam looks like it's got sunken eyes there. You can rest now. That wasn't very climactic. This is Calm Mind. It looks like Calm Mind. Yeah, it is Calm Mind. Alright, I guess that does it for uh, the gym episode. Catch you guys in the next one when we get to Cinnabar. Peace.